welcome everyone so in this video i am just gonna show you guys how to create the load balancer and the configuration settings for you guys to understand so before that we need an instance group so if you guys didn't do this i highly recommend you do that but if you guys are following along this is the place where you might have seen i only had one instance and then i auto scaled it by giving a load to the cpu if you want to know the code i will be available in the i will give you the code all you have to do is you have to go to the first instance and then you have to run the code so that the cpu gets utilized more and then by that reset result it will be scaled to you know the maximum that you created here so i've created three so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to search here load balancing load balancing which is a network services once this comes up all you have to do is create click like this create load balancer then for our use case we just going to use http and https applications because that's what which is a web server in case you go on further about exploring more for working as a company it's like applications which rely on tcp the cell protocol you go for here or if it's just in udp for gaming applications or some others whatever you your use cases you go for the network load balancer for now we will go to this one because this is our configuration so we click start configuration and then it will be asking what is your kind of problem which is do you want load balancer traffic from internet to your vm instances or serverless or between your vm instances so so ours is http load balancer so the problem is that so the use case is that the from the internet to your vm instances. so because from my internet i'm searching for the external ip of the vm instance. so i'm trying the traffic is coming from the internet so this is the case if you want if you keep classic i'm just going to keep it as default as possible and when i click continue and front end configuration back end configuration and routing rules so what this means is that the front end is where you receive the traffic so in what way you receive the traffic which is http and you know the ip address and the port so we're going to keep as this is because the global HTTP balancer is supposed to be. Okay, we might have changed. Okay, so maybe, maybe you know what? For this case, you'll just go with classic. We just we just fix with for a moment. Just keep it as it's as it is. So configure the this is where you receive so which is HTTP. This is perfectly fine. So the problem that I wanted to say is that is that the front end is the place where you receive the traffic. So from the HTTP protocol and the AT port. And the host path rules is nothing but how can you redirect it to the backend. So the backend is the place where you redirect to the traffic so where the traffic is redirected to so this would be our so consider this as very easy front end so the first thing which is this is where you receive the receive the traffic and then in the host and pathways you say how to redirect it to the backend the backend as you might have guessed which is the instance group so for now this is okay so I'll just create it Okay. No word. Balancing. Go with sample the balancer. Then come here back in. You will select the black end. So here we can say create. 
shit back in back here or whatever but we're just gonna go with the normal one and we're gonna create it Service. At the moment, we don't have anyone back in service, and then we're gonna set, give a name. Back in service, then we're gonna keep all this as it is because we don't want to change anything. Instance group, yes, obviously. Instance group, we'll fix with the instance group. Stupid time mode, everything is perfectly fine. And you want to go to instance group in the sack the instance group that you created, which is instance group one. So, instance group one, you give instance group one, and then port, you give 80. Utilization is nothing but the utilization rate. Uh, maximum. Back in utilization which is eighty percent. If you want to give rate, you can give us rate, and you know, uh, like say per instance or per second, how much the rate, so that if it exceeds, you can do this. We're gonna fix. We're gonna stick with the defaults. Then come down by default. This is enabled. If you want, you can do this as well. But now it's enabled, so we will leave it as it is. So you come down and you see the health check. You select the health check which we already created. Now if you want you can enable logging for now we don't want that so now we'll just click create so this is selected just give it okay back in service back send service signal okay we made a typo but it's okay back in service and then we're gonna come here to host path rules host path rules and then this is the beauty of the really the beauty of the cloud because you can have multiple backend configuration for each microservice so that for example let's say if the payment you can have another one for the for the like the load balancing for each traffic for the front end traffic you can have anything so that then in this place you can just add different path rules and say for this source and for this part for just i don't know images or whatever it is you can set this Back in service, so in this that way, that each of the load is transferred in a different way, it's literally directed to a different microservice. So, for our case, it's not a big deal. This is enough for us. So, this is done. So, now all you gotta do is go click into view, make sure all the fields are correct. So, we check everything is correct, and then create this. Usually, takes Take around eight minutes, eight to ten minutes, depending on it. So I will just, you know, pause the video if it's too long. I think they did everything perfectly for me. It's really good. You don't have any problems. So I'm just going to create. I'm going to give it some time. I'm sure it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to pause this video and come back with the results. So this is done. Uh, load balancer was created so all you can do is you can go and see by clicking on the load balancer and this page will be on the build and then you can check the address and then this you know works perfectly fine so the suggestion of that is that there are lots of things that you need to know in case of load balancing because for the exam point of view you need to know which load balancer to use in case of external from the external traffic, which is from the internet, I will make a little bit of small video saying that what load balancer to choose. So I'll make a video about that, don't worry. But for an example point of view, you need to know that and I will talk about the terminologies there. For to understanding how this works, this is how it is done. So and I would highly su suggest that if you're using trial version, delete all the stuff that we have done so far so that you use the best of the free trial version so i think hope this was helpful so i will see you in the next video where i talk more about other stuff that you need to understand to pass the exam so without further ado let's dive into the next set of videos in the playlist